Hi, welcome to another Tim's Read Throughs. On this one, we'll be doing another recipe from A Feast of Ice and Fire. Uh, again, it's a, uh, it's a cookbook based off of some of the meals that are mentioned throughout the A Song of Ice and Fire books. Uh, as we get further down the line in these books, you'll you'll really see that some of these some of these recipes that George R. R. Martin writes are just, or some of these feasts he writes about, are just mouth watering. I mean, they they really they really make you hungry reading them, you know. And uh, so here's one that I've been really excited to do for a long time. It's called uh, Sister Stew. Uh, we haven't got to the sisters in the book yet, um, but they're a group of, uh, I believe, peninsulas or islands. I think islands down in um, down in the south. Uh, but here's the quote: The beer was brown, the bread black, the stew a creamy white. She served it in a trencher hollowed out of a stale loaf. It was thick with leeks, carrots, barley's, and turnips, white and yellow, along with clams and chunks of cod and crab meat, swimming in a stock of heavy cream and butter. It was the sort of stew that warmed a man right down to his bones. Just the thing for a wet, cold night. A dance with dragons. So, this stew is um, exactly as good as it sounds in the book. The vegetables add a welcome splash of color that is absent from many seafood chowders. Uh, despite vast quantities of fish that go into the stew, it does not taste overly fishy. Instead, the seafood flavors uh, melt into the creamy broth, mingling with the aromatic garlic and subtle hints of saffron. Consider serving the stew in a hollow loaf of black bread. This adds so many additional complex flavors that you will find yourself spooning, spooning up more and more to try to experience them all. I'm really excited to try this one. Like I said, it's got a bunch of seafood, cod, crab, clam meat. Uh, there's turnips in it, so uh, uh, along with leeks and uh, carrots. So... Uh, just a little heads up, I'm not going to be chopping carrots or leeks in this video. Uh, I actually chopped them for, for a previous video, so if you get a chance to check out the Ar uh, Roasted Arcs with Leeks video, um, i chop them in that. Um, but, yeah, so let's go on and go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so the recipe calls for one turnip diced, one medium turnip. Uh, I've actually never used turnips before. Never cooked with them. I don't even know if I like them. So I'm going to cut it off the top here. Kind of reminds me of a radish. I'm not really fond of radishes, but you know what? I have a philosophy of life. I'll try anything twice. So it says diced, so uh, I guess we'll... You know what? I do like this. Okay, so I think we'll probably be cutting them about that size. And just for the record, you won't be seeing me cut my fingers off. I've done that too many times. So... And I've worked in enough restaurants that I'm not too bad at this. So I'll be cutting them about that size from here. And uh, just to uh, keep you from the boring tedium of having to watch that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. And after this, uh, I guess we'll mince the garlic. Okay, the only reason I'm doing this on camera is because I don't think, or I think there are people out there who aren't aware 
that it's this easy to mince garlic. Um, all you have to do is put the flat of your knife on the garlic end. Just give it a good smash. Uh, again. And, uh, you know, if you want to cut it further, just go ahead and you got minced garlic. All right, and that's all for that, thanks. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. All of our ingredients are together. We're gonna to start off by placing a half a pound of cod into a pot with water, and we're gonna bring that to a boil, and uh, we're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes. Um, and then <clears throat> we're gonna be removing that fish uh, from the pot with a slotted spoon to, uh, cause this is going to be our stock. We're making a fish stock with this. Um, and in the meanwhile, I'm going to get a large pot and melt some butter. Uh, it calls for, uh, two tablespoons. Um, we're going to melt some butter, saute the leeks, carrots, and garlic, uh, over a medium to low heat. So, uh, just give me a second and I will get that all prepared so we can get that rolling as well. All right, so now we're gonna, what did that say, a medium low heat? Yes, medium low heat, uh, maybe about there. So we'll get that heated up a little and there's my butter. So. We got two tablespoons of butter here. Leeks, carrots, and garlic. So here's the carrots and leeks. Now we're going to saute that, um, stirring occasionally, uh, for about five minutes. So we're going to get these vegetables tender, but not, but not brown. Um, so yeah, we'll be, uh, I'll use this one here. So, yeah, we've got two leeks cut up here, which is what it calls for, and two carrots. Um, it says chopped, I believe. Yes, two carrots chopped, and two cloves of garlic, which I minced. Um, so, yeah, let that cook. And like I said, we have the uh, the fish here, which is. Uh, we're going to bring to a boil and then boil that for about 10 minutes. And then we'll be removing that with a slotted spoon. Um, and is there anything else that we can do? Okay, other than that, uh, we're, just, we're just cooking this for, for a little bit. Uh, maybe when this starts to, starts to cook up a little bit, I'll, we'll come back and check it out. Okay, now we've got the fish boiling. We'll boil that for about another 8 minutes. It's been boiling for... For, for a few and over here in this pan yeah you can see that a little okay over here in this pan we'll actually see if we can move out a bit we don't need to watch fish boil we have the leeks and the carrots and the garlic like I said on a medium low heat and it's cooking yeah so uh, yeah, uh, what really got me into wanting to try this book, uh, and my lovely fiance picked it up for me last Easter, and I've been cooking from it ever since, uh, was, you know, just listening. I, when I went through the Game of Thrones or A Song of Ice and Fire books, um, it all started off with audiobooks. Uh, and 
you know, listening to some of these, some of these feasts, I was just on the road, just getting so hungry. I'd find myself, you know, grabbing one of my sandwiches or some of my snacks and it just wasn't satisfying. So, um, you know, my, my fiance found this book and I started trying recipes from it immediately. And it's been, it's been awesome. I've had bowls of brown. I've had uh, honeyed chicken from Winterfell. Um, I've had some, some lemon sweet, which is a drink from Dorn. Um, and, and I'll make some of these, you know, in future, in uh, future videos. So, you know, just to keep the channel interesting, you know, nobody wants to just sit there and watch me read for, you know, a half hour to an hour at a time. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be doing this. Hopefully I'll get every recipe in the book done. Um, I know there's some that I'm just not going to be able to do. There's a rattlesnake recipe. I looked up rattlesnake. I don't think I can afford that just to make a YouTube video or maybe, maybe I can. We'll see. But yeah, so we got this, got this simmering. Uh, we're going to let it cook for about another minute or so. And then we're going to add the, um, oh, and I used the wrong damn spoon. That's all right. Um, we're going to add a half a cup of white wine. I use cooking wine. You can use whatever wine, you know, tickles your fancy. I uh, just want to make sure the video is clear. There's a lot of steam coming up from this fish. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to add a uh, add the wine and increase the heat, bringing it to a boil. And at that time, I'll be adding the, or once it's at a boil, I'll add the fish stock and the thyme, pepper, barley, and turnips, and cook it for about 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, we'll let this cook for about another, another minute or so, and then um, add the cooking wine. And apparently, uh, let, me, let me just look real quick. Um, I was looking to see if they had something in this book about the authors. I know that they do, uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick uh, rundown. Um, yeah, it was a couple of ladies, and they've got an Instagram in at the crossroads. In at the Crossroads, and they also have a website called inatthecrossroads.com where you can find a lot of these recipes. Uh, some of them, I think, are exclusive to the books. Other ones are exclusive to the website. So if you want to look more into this, the, the, uh, all the recipes are at inatthecrossroads.com. Uh, Chelsea Monroe Cassell and Sarianne Lehrer. Um, I probably butchered those names, but yeah, those are the, the ladies who came up with these recipes. I believe they're both uh, experts in medieval cooking. Uh, and when they went through the books, they had the same uh, feelings that I did. You know, they got hungry. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's about time we can add the wine. Let's set this back here. And turn up the heat, it said. All right, and we are going to use the slotted spoon over here to remove the fish. And again, this is just cod. And we will be using this later. And this is our stock. So let me try to get all the big chunks out. Once 
that over there begins to boil, we are going to add uh, the fish stock, the thyme, the salt, pepper, barley, and turnips. Okay, now we've got got that just about at a boil. I'm going to move our stock back here because over here, oh hey, all right, over here on the little in a little pan, we're going to get where is it? One cup of heavy cream. And it says here, don't try to go light um, and use half and half. You want to use the heavy cream. So, Okay, so it says here, you don't even want to bring this to a simmer, so I'm just going to put this on the lowest possible heat that I can. Oh, that's the wrong low. All right. I believe that's it for... I believe that's it for the measuring cup. Now, strain the keys in there so they're supposed to be tender but not brown. All right. Um, bring them to the boil. Add the fish stock time, salt, pepper, barley, and turnips. So, we're going to add the fish stock. The turnips. Quarter teaspoon of thyme leaves. The barley. The barley, it's said to soak in water for about an hour before cooking. It didn't specify whether... It didn't specify that you had to leave it sit for more than an hour, less than an hour, so, um, oh, excuse me. So, we're going to add that, um, what else? The salt and pepper, and we'll let that boil. Got a timer going here. All right, now we'll stir this up. And it says to boil this for about 20 minutes or so. So yeah, with that, um, just let this let this hang out and stir it occasionally, and yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, and with the uh, with the heavy cream here, I'll be adding a little bit. Oh, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so now with the heavy cream. So to heat it up a little and add, what does it say here? A half a teaspoon of crumbled saffron threads. So I've got, now I buy saffron and it comes in these little, little tubes. So we're just going to crumble those in that little tube. 
And saffron's a bit pricey, but I think it's worth it. So we'll put those in there. And it says to warm the cream in a small pan, a uh, saucepan. It should not even simmer. So you see, I don't have it simmer in here. It's just warming. Actually, I could probably even turn that down. Um, then rub the saffron threads into it until it's a nice golden color. So, uh, just gonna stir those in here. And uh, you can't really see it turning a golden color. Maybe I should have used a bit more. Saffron's pretty expensive, so. Um, let me stir this over here. Let me still see what's going on. Yeah, you can see. You see how it's starting to thicken up. Now that's the, the fish stock, the turnips. The carrots and the leeks with the garlic minced in it and barley. You can see the barley. Uh, I, I, you know, you hear this all the time in cooking shows that how they wish that you could smell what was going on over here, but really, it smells incredible. So, I'm actually going to uh, get an extra one of these saffron tubes. And I feel like I gotta turn that heat down even farther. I don't even know if it goes down much farther. So we've got an extra one of these saffron tubes and oh man, there we go. I'm just gonna crush them down in there. And I think that might be about the uh, the half a teaspoon. So now we have about a half a teaspoon in there, and should turn a golden brown. I mean, a golden color. You probably hear the Parks and Rec came back on. I, I noticed a little bit ago it shut off and fiance was taking a nap. Whoa! Man, look at how thick that is. I, I love these stews in the, in, the, uh, in the Feast of Ice and Fire. They just, they're so thick and hearty. Uh, the, the bowls of brown, which is, uh, from the pot shops of Flea Bottom. Uh, if you've read the books, then you definitely know what a bowl of brown is. Uh, you might have heard, um, might have heard Tyrion call it Singer's Stew. That's what I like to call it. You know, kind of gives it a fun little, little edge. But um, oh, it's so good, so good. I'm definitely gonna gonna make some of that on one of these, um, just because it's one of my favorite things to do, and I'd really like to take some into work. Uh, for my dispatcher and and my manager. So yeah, you can see this is cooking really well. Um, and let's check back here. Cream in the sauce uh, saucepan. It's not even simmer. Rub the saffron threads into it until the cream turns a nice golden color. Stir cream and evaporated milk into the broth and turnip mixture. So I'll be stirring this 
and I've got a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk here, um, which is exactly what it calls for. It calls for a 12 ounce, 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. So we'll be stirring this in. Uh, you can see that's starting to get creamy. I think I should have gave it a bit more of a a bigger hole. Okay. <laughs> it's funny because on Parks and Rec right now they're talking about Game of Thrones. All right, so now we're going to stir our golden. Oh, that really did turn it a nice golden color. Stir that in, and you know what? Let me, let me get that saffron. You probably can't see me doing this. Let me try it like this. Sorry about that. This is, these are my first videos cooking, so I'm no Guy Fieri. Um, okay. So stir that in and then here in a little bit, once we cook this in, we'll uh, go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and add the, the fish and the crab and the clam. We're going to add both the raw and the both the raw and cooked fish, uh, the crab, the clam, and uh, I'll cover it, cook it on medium-low for about five to eight minutes until the fish is opaque, and serve it hot. So that's basically it, minus the meat. Um, this is sister stew, and you can see, you know, it's good hearty stew, a lot of vegetables. Um, it's not quite done yet, but... Um, that's the basic gist of it. And like I said in the uh, art, Roasted Arts with Leeks video, I'll be putting the entire recipe, including the, the instructions. Uh, I'll leave out the quotes, but um, I'll leave the instructions and the ingredients list in the, in the description. Okay, let me move this a little closer here. All right, we can see that it's definitely a golden color now. So, and we got it at a good boil. So I'm going to add the crab, the clams, and we have a half a cup of each. The cooked cod and the raw cod which it says I think it said two and a half pounds oh one and a half pounds but yeah so that's about one and a half pounds of cod and we will leave that <clears throat> leave that simmer. Uh, I'm gonna put it to um, I believe it's at a medium low heat. Yes, medium low heat for about five to eight minutes. So I'm just gonna turn it down just a hair and put a lid on it.
some of these things I guess I should have had ready. So put a lid on it and yeah, we'll check back in about uh, five to eight minutes or so and see how everything's looking. Okay, here we are. It's about five to eight minutes later. And look at that. Just move that over to the side. Look at that. Big, huge chunks of fish. Big chunks of crab. Maybe I could have left the vegetables a little bigger. Uh, the leeks might have been able to be, um, you know, discs rather than diced up the way I did. And I probably could have made the turnips a bit bigger too. So I'll know that for future reference. But man, look at that. How thick. And the barley. Oh, look at that. That's, that's a huge chunk of cod right there. So I think this is about ready. Um... I'm going to serve this up, and yeah, we just, uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there we are. Got a bowl of sister stew. Now, in the book, they suggested to do it with a loaf of black bread, but I didn't make the black bread. Um, I just, <clears throat> I'll save that for another time. Maybe I'll even make this uh, for that, and we'll see what it looks like all dished up in a loaf. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and uh Hit that little notification bell, uh, share, share this all over Facebook, uh, but like I said, I don't want too many followers just for the simple fact that I don't want to be monetized. I'm not in this for money. I'm just here to spread the word about A Song of Ice and Fire. So with that, uh, have a great day and enjoy the meal.